One of the problems with race, uh, Aaron, is we never discuss race until something bad happens. And then what happens is everybody protects their own tribe. In Jamaica, we don't really have that whole issue of race. It's more like a class difference. So I wasn't quite fully aware of the whole, you know, I am black, you are white, you are whatever. Uh, most people are actually in the same boat regardless of what skin color you are. I I'm actually in an interracial relationship right now currently. We're, we're still segregated. Yeah. The black people live on one side of town, the white people live on one side of town, the rich people live on a whole other strict area. They, they live in the suburbs. So our racial interaction doesn't happen as much as we need it to happen. A lot of us are apathetic to uh, race, uh, politics, any, a lot of things that are really important. I suppose. All of my friends are really, really diverse and it makes things so much more interesting and I'm a little more culturally aware than I was a couple years ago. Situations, uh, we've all been followed through stores. Uh, <laughs> some uh, women do grab the purses a little tighter when you walk up in the elevator uh, next to them. Uh, and that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I think race is a big issue, considering that there are wealthy people of every race in every society. I think it's more classism, as in people are separated by how much income they have, just how much money. Black people want to define me as black, and I seem to have a problem with that, not because I don't like black people, because I am partially black but because I feel that defining myself as such is ignoring all the other parts of me and I have a problem with that. I couldn't understand it at first. You know, I was in classes and everyone was so passionate about overcoming racial barriers and obstacles and I just didn't get it. And I remember some of my other friends from the Caribbean who just didn't get it, you know. And I love all people, you know. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't care what color you are, what ethnicity you are, where you come from, I don't care. If I love you, I love you, I don't give a damn. When I was filling out applications for college and every single form asked, what race are you? And I found that very difficult because um, I have a lot of races in me and so I didn't know if I should check each box or my box didn't seem to be on the form. In our Miss America pageant, we have black women and women of all different races. In those days, if you had anything else but white, you were black. I call my daughter a honky. And I mean, I don't care if you say honky, white, black, and the other word that nobody's allowed to use anymore that I grew up with saying. Therein lies the racism that's embedded within people. It's like the sins of the fathers get passed on to the children. So how do you break the cycle? <laughs> just make different choices. You just you flat out make different choices. Problems in the world is really because of the wealth imbalance, not because of race. We got to start talking about race when everything is calm. We can't go into a dialogue when everybody is mad.